welcome along to one of my Sunday morning drives. Uh, not a very long one today. Uh, the last one was a bit of a disaster. It turned into a bit of a marathon, so hopefully uh, just going on a, a short five or ten minute drive today. Uh, we're starting off on one of Leeds' newer roads. We've talked about it in previous videos. Very noisy, made of concrete. Uh, it's the A1N uh, that links the A1 where it uh, passes to the east of Leeds and it links that road with the M1 that used to finish uh, to the south of Leeds. I think they even had to cover part of this concrete when they built the road because they've got so many complaints from uh, Live locally uh, about the noise and they had to cover it in tarmac. But I'll, I'll do the full length of this road uh, on Sunday uh, from the north in Weatherby uh, down almost to Wakefield where it meets the M62. But for today we're going on another new road. When they built this road, uh, there was, I suppose, a missing link really that linked this road to the centre of Leeds. Uh, so if you're coming from the north, this would probably sign their A63 Leeds. Uh, this would be a best way. They built the A63 actually, that used to run through Leeds, and when they built this, they to here. So, so it follows its old, old course but as it goes into Leeds it actually comes down here. You can't see it but we're just passing Temple News on the right. And on the left is a huge area that when I was growing up was uh, spoil heaps from open cast mining, big lagoons, just an area of complete industrial desolation um, and somebody's made a, a pretty packet out of it because they've sold it and they've, they've built the services and now I'm, I'm a bit staggered really they're building hundreds and hundreds of houses on it to be critical but it's actually in the middle of nowhere at the side of a motorway <laughs> in those schools those shops um, would be my first choice of somewhere to live you should be able to see the city now in the distance this again when I was growing up was a little rutted lane. There used to be coal mines down here and there used to be railways that went from here into the city delivering the coal where it was picked up by lorries. Um, Lamborghini I think and McLaren or Ferrari and McLaren garages on the left. Very necessary you know stereo hit, hit Britain. But as I say, this was a rutted track. Uh, we used to come down on our bikes to Temple News and old railway lines, um, a, a, a stream, red walls, they used to call it, that was somewhere around about here. And we used to have little adventures. And there was nothing, there was a farm on the, on the right keep horses and there's a track there that took you through to Holland Moor. That's all gone now. But if you're coming from the north I did mean to say 
and you visiting Leeds from the day, there's a park and ride just just behind us on this road. And if you're coming from the south, you can come off at the Sturton Junction, and there's a park and ride there. And I'd probably say that's the easiest way to get into Leeds. You know. So this was about where the industrial estate used to reach as far as. Uh, this was where the normal road came as far as. It's not the prettiest way to Leeds, but it's a it's a fairly straightforward way to Leeds. Big incinerator in front of us there. wall um, as it bursts as it burns all the waste and pumps it into the atmosphere it does have a very nice green wall industrial estate I should have said is we've, we've just driven through it and then it's all on the left hand side it goes right down as far as the river air um, there's not so much to say about this this run into Leeds really used to be a lot of open countryside. And now it's a lot of factories. St Hilda's Church in front of us there is quite a historic church. Uh, beautiful inside. And then as we get near the city, what was industry, factory, warehouses, that kind of thing, is now, as, as we've discovered in earlier videos, it's now just apartments thousands upon thousands of them Go left there, that takes you on to the inner ring road that we came along the other week. It's going to take you over towards Allen Road, Hunslet, Sturton, that way. Um, I'm not going to be judgmental about these flats. I try not to be. But early on in the morning, I, <laughs> I do have a tendency to be. And I'll let you make your own minds up what you, what you think of them. St Saviour's Church on the right there was St Saviour's School uh, and a convent. And then there are some steps up the hill that takes you up to St Saviour's Church. This is all an area that I'm going to walk at, at some point. Uh, it's 
quite a historic area and pleased to be touched on it in, in last week's video. Um, left to go into the city via the parish church and yet more flats. There you have it, the link road from the city centre to the A1N. It's probably, I'm not too sure about weekdays, but on a weekend it's probably the easiest way to get in and out of the city if you're travelling from the, uh, from or to the north or east or even south. But there we have it, we're back where we've been a couple of times before. So I'll say thanks for watching and putting up with my grumbling and uh, I've got a few more ideas for more interesting driving videos, it's just it's the just starting the second week in January it's still dark it's not raining so hopefully as the weather starts to improve now uh, we can go a little bit further afield on our drives uh, but for now thanks for watching uh, 